Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of estimation and panel numbers, specifically how we can use them in problem situations, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So when we're looking for estimates or compatible numbers, we're not looking for the actual number. The estimate means it's about uh, the correct answer, but it's supposed to be quicker. So when we see the word about, that kind of gives us a clue that we need to not get the exact answer. So let's say we have these four games and we want to know about how much uh, the scores were all together. So that is going to give us our clue that we're going to estimate. There's different ways we can estimate though. So let's say if we want to round, let's go to the largest place, let's go round to the hundreds place. Then we could take each of these numbers. So I'm going to take 123, I'm going to take 92, so on and so forth. I'm going to round them to the nearest hundred. We're going to see what we get. So if I round with the nearest 100, that means I'm going to be looking at this 2. And that 2 is not going to be uh, high enough. It has to be 5 or more. So 123 is actually closer to 100 than it is 200. There's actually nothing in the 100s place on 92. But I can still look at that 9 in the 10s place. And it's definitely a lot closer to 100 than it is to 0. 170. I'm going to look at that 7. That 7 is going to kick that 1 up, but it's actually not that close. It's closer to 200 than 100, but it's kind of far away. Same with this. Look at this. 142, but that 4 is not quite big enough to make that 1 go up. So it's going to go down to 100. That's going to be pretty far off. We lost 42 in that estimate. So if we add all of these up, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 as our estimate. So sometimes that's going to be the quickest way to do it, but I don't think that estimate is actually very close. So let's see what happens if we round to the tens place. That is usually going to be a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to take my same numbers, my 123, my 92, 170, and 142. So if I'm going to round to the tens place, there we go. That's going to be a little bit better, 123. It's closer to 120 than it is to 130. 92, definitely closer to 90 than it is to 100. 170 is already rounded to the tens place. That zero is not going to do anything. And then I've got 142. So I'm going to say that's closer to 140 than it is to 100, that, or 150. That two is not going to do much. So now we've got a little bit of addition we need to do. That's going to be 11. And 11, so that's 22. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 520. So we're only 20 off when we use uh, rounding to 100 as opposed to rounding to 10. But what if we do compatible numbers? Compatible numbers are numbers that are close to the original numbers, but they don't necessarily follow the rounding rules. So they're also used for estimation, but you don't have to follow any particular rules. And so when I'm looking at compatible numbers, I'm looking for numbers that I can easily add together. And so sometimes it's going to look like rounding to the nearest 10, because obviously 10s are easier to multiply. But sometimes I like to uh, go to 25s if possible, just because it makes me think, of quarters. And I can quickly count quarters if I go to 25s. So that means I'm going to make this number go to 125 because that's uh, close and I can count by 25s. That's going to be about 100. This 170, I'm going to change to 175. I'll say this 142, I'm going to call that maybe 150. We can just kind of keep the pattern going. Those are compatible numbers and they're kind of close. So I've got 5, 5 is 10. And I've got 3, 10, 15. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 550. That's a lot farther off. So what is the best choice? Rounding to 100, rounding to 10, or compatible numbers? Well, the only way to solve that is to actually do the math itself. 123, 92, 170, and 142. So let's see what all those adds up. 5. That's 7, that's 11, and 11 is going to be 22, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 27 is our actual sum. So our closest is rounded to the 10, but we would have been fine with 100 or compatible numbers if we decided to do that as well. 